Hey, it's Maggie and welcome to my 2020 bullet journal flip through. I used this Archer and Olive notebook for half of the year and then another one for the other half. This is my cover page. I love it so much. And then I just brought in the year with this 2020 page and a sticker. Um, I wrote down my goals and just my year at a glance, my college planning, this grid spacing guide, of course, and hello new decade. We thought it was going to be good, didn't we? <laughs> so my first theme this year was January Northern Lights and Mountains. And I used watercolor throughout this, which was really nice. And the first time I've done that in a bullet journal. This is my um, like vision board for the year that I've done in both of my years of bullet journaling. But this year is definitely my favorite in my bullet journal so far. Um, I've only journaled for this year, last year, and then half of the year before that. But I think I'm just getting better at it as I go. I did half a mood tracker for this year, for this month, because I thought I was not going to do it, but then I missed it. So I just did it. Um, here's my washi tape collection. I have 99. Um, here's my flowers that I collected in my yard. I do this in all of my journals. And then here's February. I did a roses theme for Valentine's Day. I think this might be my least favorite theme of the year. I don't know why. Um, I do have some of my favorite pages, like this February memories page. Um, and this page, this spread is just so pretty. Um, and then the next spread too, it's just really clean and yeah, I like it. You'll notice some things stay the same, some things change. It's just really how you journal and like what you decide to do throughout the year. But you'll notice there's a lot of Harry Styles influence in this journal, a lot of quotes. <laughs> anyway, here we're moving on to March and I did these like pretty light bulbs and fairy lights and fireflies. I think the fonts in this month really stood out. This mood tracker is one of my favorites and this memories page actually. So back to what I was saying, um, you see these memory pages and I did that throughout the first half of the year and then I would make the page and then it would stay blank forever. So, oh, sorry, I just love those firefly jars so much and the, that font is just everything. Um, here's me showing my tattoo sketches and then my actual tattoo that I actually got this year, which was a life goal that I completed and I love it so much. Um, and also the page where I thought that Corona was just going to last, um, a week or two. <laughs> oh, I love this spread too. Okay. I just... <laughs> I love this style. It's just like I go for it and I don't plan it out. Um, here's some art. I tried to incorporate more art this year into my journal and then a pretty quote page next to it, a painting. And then here's my April theme, which was skies and clouds. And you can see I glued a painting into it, but I didn't have to do that because you can see on this page, I just painted right on the Archer and Olive and it it's just amazing and I didn't have to glue another paper in. I could just paint right on it. Um, yeah, and here's another one of those memory pages and mood tracker. And then you'll see I also do a lot of these where it's like a background and then just squares on top of it. And that's some of my favorite like um, weekly spreads to do. So you'll see that a lot. I also tried to keep like a positive outlook in my journal because it is a space to like pour out your mind. Here's my Animal Crossing spread. I was playing that every day in April, definitely. But it is a place where you can like have a lot of mental health and like awareness and just like journaling all your mind. So I tried to do like a positive spin on that, I guess. Here's May. I absolutely love this theme. It's strawberries. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and I just love how it turned out so much. The colors are so pretty. I think it's clean and I've 
also I tried to use more stickers in my journal so you'll see I have a lot of strawberry stickers and I love that mood tracker spread it's so pretty um, I love this spread I love the uh, lines are so nice <laughs> anyway I also love this spread is one of my favorites it's that background I was talking about and then like the squares look like they're on top of it Ugh, love it and then here's one of those other spreads that I like doing where it's just not planned it's just you journal throughout the week as you go I like doing that because it's like it's kind of scrapbooky which I also like to incorporate into my journal like a scrapbook look and I did that a lot in June, which I did like this boho rainbow theme theme that you see on like Instagram or whatever, and Pinterest, very like aesthetic looking rainbows. I don't really like this moon tracker, but that's one of my last memory pages as well. Um, here's one of those background spreads that I like to do. I think that turned out nicely. And there's also another one in this month. I think I already passed it. But I also graduated in 2020, which was a big thing. We didn't have a real graduation, but we still celebrated. And then here's my pages that are basically saying I wish I was at a march right now or a protest. Oh, here's that other background page. I did rainbows in the background. I like how that turned out. I loved my color palette for this month. I used that craft paper and then the white gel pen on top. Got some Tombos this month, which I used in this theme, which is this sea ocean theme, seashell theme. <laughs> and I used a lot of stickers in this one. I heavily relied on some fishy stickers and a lot of seashell stickers. You can see that July memories page was blank. I still made it in the next month too, but I also didn't fill it out. But anyway, this spread, I love that spread. <laughs> A lot of this video is just me saying, oh yeah, I love this spread, but you know what? It's fine. I'm just rambling. This one, I just poured all of my extra stickers on and tried to cover the whole thing. And I just used the rest of my sticker sheets and yeah, that's it for the first half of the year because I ran out of space. I only had a few pages left. And yeah, and here's my test page. I just think it's cool to see that at the end of the year because it's like where I test the colors for each month. And then that little pocket where I use all, put all my scraps. So yeah, here's my next journal for the rest of the year. It's just this flower archer and olive notebook. And then I did flowers to match the cover on the inside for the cover page. And like for my, um, just to like have a space where I could plan the rest of the year without having to go to my other journal. And I really did use this journal as more of a planner because I did start college so I didn't want to have a planner and my journal so I just made my journal into more of a planner because you can see at the beginning of the year it was just more of a journal and this one is more of a planner and a journal <laughs> but August was sunflowers and this is another one of my favorite themes um yeah, I love this mood tracker. A memories page is blank still. I maybe I'll go back and film one day, but um, one of those backgrounds. This is one of my favorites ever. Um, background. Yeah, that kind of spread thing. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, whatever. I'm bad at voiceovers. <laughs> um, Taylor Swift's album also had a big influence on me. August is my favorite song from folklore. Um, I love this page. I just did a little lyric page because I love it so much. Um, I think this page is really pretty. I don't know what, what makes it so pretty, but it's very aesthetic to look at. 
and then September was 80s themed. Um, it's not one of my favorite themes, but I'm really glad that um, I got to do it because it was my friend Amber's idea actually, and um, I wouldn't have done it if she didn't suggest it, so I'm really glad she did. I love the cover page and the grid behind it that we saw a few seconds ago. But yeah, um, I did a Pac-Man spread and then I did this Galaga spread, which was one of my favorite video games as a early thousands baby. <laughs> um, then I did this page for things that make me happy just to keep that positivity going. This is my favorite spread from this month. Um, it's that background kind of look that I love. And then October, I just did everything spooky, mostly ghosts and bats and skeletons um, and spiders, definitely spiders. Um, I, I love to do October because I just have so many stickers to do, to use because I love spooky time. Here's a mood tracker I got from Pinterest, but I think it's really cute. Oh, I love September's uh, mood tracker too. I forgot to talk about it. It was basically like a Game Boy playing Tetris. Um, I also love fall. I've got to incorporate fall into it too. Um, here's where I started to get more into planning because I had a lot of schoolwork to do. So I did like a weekly to-do list kind of, like of my tasks. And then I just gave the rest of the space for the month to journal. And I didn't like hold myself back anymore. Like I didn't, I gave up drawing like the boxes and stuff because I just wanted the whole page to be available for journaling. I didn't want to like hold myself back from journaling. I just wanted to pour all my thoughts out and I was um, running out of room when I would um, box it off and limit myself. It does make it messier but it's not as neat but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make I guess. And then November is another one of my favorite months to do. I did this scarecrow and mushroom and crow theme and I love it a lot. I had more stickers to use and washi tape and yeah, um, some of the planning spreads from this month are my favorites. Um, I love this mood tracker. I love fall so much. Here's my favorite um, planning spread, I think, of the month. I really like them all, but this was the first one where I kind of like made it more organized so it looked better. And then here's my Halloween spread because I ran out of room last month and my Thanksgiving. I love to have like a specific page for both of these holidays because um, I, lo I love them a lot. <laughs> Here's another one of my favorite spreads from this month. I love the big old mushroom sticker that I use. And yeah. This style of journaling definitely helped me stay motivated. I loved crossing off things as I did them. And I got a lot of done stuff done. I love this page too. I just love them all. I was watching Schitt's Creek. Shout out if you see the reference on that page. Anyway, yeah. So here's my final spread of November, I think. Yep. And here's December, which I did this Christmas theme. I'm still, it's still December, but um, I love this quote that I use from walking in a winter wonderland. I love my mood tracker this month. It's really cute. Here's some gift ideas, which hopefully nobody sees that before Christmas. <laughs> um, and then even though I'm done with this semester of school, I still liked planning my days. So I kept that planner aspect because I still had a lot to do for Christmas and stuff. 
I love this spread with the holly leaves around it and pine needles or whatever. This spread is really cool. I did like this flannel gift wrap looking background. And I did some Christmas lights there and the snowman sketch. I think he's a cutie. And then that is all. That is my journal for 2020. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. Of course, we got to show you the test page. Um, and then my little pouch. But thank you for watching. Even though I didn't love this year, I definitely loved my journal from this year. I can't wait to journal next year. And yeah, don't forget to like and leave me a comment. What was your favorite theme? Okay, bye.